Steve O. Yo, yo. Hey, man, shout out to Nikola Jokic for winning his third MVP, something that people thought should have happened last year. Uh, but this year he got his third MVP. But as much as we love Nikola Jokic and his game over here at NBA Central, we feel as though there should have been another person named as the MVP. We're going to discuss why Shea Gilgis Alexander of the Oklahoma Thunder, City Thunder, should have won the MVP this year right after the intro. Welcome to the number one place for your daily basketball news and analysis, NBA Central. All right, welcome to another episode of NBA Central, your number one spot for all things basketball related. Go ahead and follow us on other social media platforms as well at NBA Central. Hi, this is your boy, Big Bro. We got Steve O Speaks in the building. Make sure y'all comment, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, share all that good stuff. Happy Mother's Day, too, to all the mothers out there coming up. Real they hope you guys get all your flowers and all your appreciation and love. Because you know who didn't get their flowers or appreciation or love in the MVP votes? Shay Gilgis Alexander. This young man led a young Oklahoma City Thunder team to the number one seed in the Western Conference this season, averaging 30 points a game, five and a half rebounds, 6.2 assists on 53.5% shooting as a guard from the field, 35% plus from three. And listen to this, Steve-O. The man is the first player in the history of the NBA to lead his team to a number one seed with those types of numbers and not get the MVP. Well, how you feeling? Do you, do you feel like SGA should have been the MVP? Hell yeah. I mean, like, don't get me wrong. Like you said, I love Jokic's game. I understand what he's doing for the game of basketball in the city of Denver. But when you just come to the, the context that you got to add is age, team, conference. Mm -hmm. The reason I say age because – Say Jason Alexander is currently, I 25. believe, 25 years old. Yes, mm -hmm. 25 years old. And everybody on that team that's making the difference of why this OKC besides him is that successful is the same age or younger besides Ooh. Lou Dort. Yeah, so, the, the North Carolina Tar Heels had an older age than OKC. Exactly. So with that being said, it's very unheard of to for a team like this that's so young and for their star to be so young to lead them into having the second best record in the hardest conference in basketball. No, they have the, been the hardest. They got they the have? best record. They were number one. The best record. I'm sorry. The best record. In the, and they stayed there for a nice majority of the time. Or if they not, they was between one and two for the majority of the season. So it's very unheard of for a person of that age, that elk, and and leading them into the playoffs, let alone letting them be the best team in the hardest conference there is. That's one thing. And then it's just Joker got experience on his hands as well as he got a, a point guard that won a championship. He has a Michael Porter Jr. that won a championship with him. Now, I'm not saying everybody going to you can't pick your teammates. You're right. Sometimes you can't pick your teammates, but that, we ain't talking about this. We just added context, and we're talking about this year. And when it comes to the MVP, to me, for a twenty-four or five-year-old averaging thirty and leading his players in, to a a playoff berth, and now they're in the second round and possibly a, a, a Western Conference Finals, possibly. I, I gotta give them a. I, I gotta give it to Shea. I'm sorry. Yeah, I mean, like, Luka, I mean, not Luka, uh, Nikola Jokic's average, because Luka was third place, by the way, uh, and he had a great season. Uh, but um, Nikola Jokic averaged 26 points, tw 12 and a half rebounds, nine assists um, on the season, and he shot almost 60% from the field. He's top 10 in all those categories, and I get it. I get it. But at this point, because last season, you know, I, 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 alluded, I alluded to this uh, earlier, Last season, you know, Joel and B won the MVP, and everybody was pretty much saying it was going to be Jokic 
up until the end of the season. Um, and then, you know, Joel Embiid overtook him and won the MVP. It was a lot of controversy about, you know, the, his race and all of that. And should he be in the same category as Larry Bird? And if you give him three straight MVPs, so on and so forth, he'll be in rare air. Um, but the reality is, bro, we've, we've watched basketball long enough and we've seen MVPs that should have been given to certain players who, who, mm-hmm. who've already had multiple players be given to the young up and coming player that over that 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 outshined expectations we saw it with derrick rose lebron james could have easily won that mvp we saw it twice yeah. with uh steve nash could have been kg could have been kobe um uh-huh. we even saw it with um of course last year with uh Jokic. they gave it to uh joel and b so do you feel like this season that it was a makeup call they were like you know what we didn't give it to him last year look at these numbers his per is through the roof so on and so forth we see what sga is doing over there we can't not give this man – we, we saw it happen to Mike a couple of times too, right? So yeah. we can't not give this man MVP two years in a row just because it's somebody else waiting in the wings. Do you feel that's how the voters felt? Because obviously I believe if the players voted on the MVP, it would have been SGA. Yeah, like I think that's a piece of it as well. They didn't want the race to be burned up back in again. Oh, y'all not doing it because you won again. Like they didn't want to do it. But I, 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 I think – for the most part, nobody really, for the most part, wanted to deal with the aftermath that it was going to come with regardless. Like, at the end of the day, for years, you're going to ruffle the feathers of somebody because you didn't pick their player. That, that's just what's going to happen. But at the end of the day, I agree with you. The real question is to be had is who is these voters? Well, we do know who the voters is, but should they continue to be allowed to be voting? And should we allow – players or former players be the ones that have, should have the votes because I agree. I think a lot of the players that have played this game and some of the players that have been in the situation of Shea and got robbed out of situations, All-Stars, MVPs, and other uh, awards will feel the same way and give it to Shea as well. But I definitely think it was definitely a makeup call because he should have won it last year as well. Yeah, and, and again, I, I, I don't. there's no disrespect to the media because that's I think that's how the MVP is voted on. Uh, yeah. the, the media gets the votes. Radio, radio personalities, uh, you know, uh, you know, Michael Wilbon, those types. Uh, I think they're the ones who vote for MVP. Uh, and first team, they also do the first, third, second, third team as well. But I just don't understand putting that type of power in the hands of people who don't play the sport. Um, yeah. It just doesn't make sense to me. Uh, it, it, would you – I mean, I don't know. Would you – Except the fans voting for MVP because now nah, it become no. a popularity pop contest. LeBron no, will win every year. Yep. Um, so then I think it really should become an organizational thing. I think it should be coaches and players yep. uh, voting and even referees, for all I care, <laughs> voting on on who should be the MVP as opposed to just people who are removed from the situation. Because at the end of the day, SGA passed all the eye tests. And he led his team to the number one seed in the Western Conference a- ahead of Denver. There's no reason why he shouldn't have won. 30, 30 yeah, points on won. 50% shooting, that makes zero sense to me. You gave Curry the <coughs> unanimous MVP with similar numbers. You gave D. Rose MVP with way worse numbers than that. Yeah. Um, so it just doesn't make sense to me that the criteria, the balance, it, it, the criteria shifts every year for what it takes or what what's the uh, – what am I looking for? What am I looking for? We need some rules. That's what you're looking for. We yeah, need, like uh, we need a set foundation of this is why you want your. This is how you win and why you win it. We don't have that, and it, and it, it's like it seems what you arbitrary. Just said. It's just based on the yeah. Mood. They move the goalposts every single year. It's based on the context they want to bring to the floor instead of the context that need to be brought as a whole. Mm-hmm. So. As I feel like, and it's the thing for what a lot of pe- things in this he league. He barely even got any first place votes, bro. Like, yeah. I think Jokic had like 79 out of the 100 votes. I think it's however many votes it is. So it wasn't yeah. even close. Like, I could yeah. see if it was a narrow victory where it was like, okay, Jokic had 50 votes and SGA had 48. I could take yeah. that over... A, a landslide? A landslide? Victory? Yeah, that's ridiculous. Because it was not a landslide when it comes to their stats. It wasn't a landslide when it comes to team success. And if anything, what boosted it is the team success. Because for the last, I'll say, three to four years, 
they made team success be the foundation of what is the reason why you won the championship. I mean, won the MVP. So if we go on the criteria of that, SEA is bar none the number one person that should have won the MVP. Yeah, because in my main reason, have a good day. My main reason is uh he exceeded expectations. In fact, him his team smashed expectations. You you, you gave the coach coach of the year, so that's yeah. cool. Uh, Chet was in the conversation for rookie of the year, so that's cool. But at the end of the day, man, there's no reason. You know, Jokic don't even. It didn't even like he wanted the MVP either. You get know what I'm saying? He don't, like, he don't even care, bro. Right. It's like, dude, he already got two. He good. He got his championship. He just playing basketball because it's something that he's good at. It's a job for him. Like, this, the, get, getting an MVP for SGA would have boosted his brand, his his approach to the game. His, and honestly, I think uh, OKC is going to go on a tear throughout these playoffs. I, you know, I'm not saying they're going to beat Dallas, but. All right. You know, Dallas is going to have to deal with the wrath of this, in my opinion. I mean, I expect to see SGA go off uh, for the rest of this series. But at the end of the day, man, like, there's no reason. Like, it's, there's no reason other than the fact that they didn't give it to him last year. They gave it to Joel Embiid, and they wanted to make up for it. Because if they if 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 Nikola Jokic got it last year, he would have had three straight. There's no way they would have gave him four straight. And, and that's the thing. Y'all need to stop messing up. And y'all won't be in these situations. Give it to the people that are supposed to get it, and now who y'all think should get it. Do the right thing, and you won't have these problems. Stop. That's the same thing with refs with makeup calls. Stop fucking up so you won't have to clean it up. Has there ever been a co-MVP? I know we had a co-rookie of the year with Elton nah, Brand back in the day. I don't think that's – we ain't going to ever do no shit like that. That ain't – I don't think the league will stand with, stand with it. <laughs> and I, me personally, I wouldn't stand with it. Pick a motherfucker, please. <laughs> be you're right. Be brave. Be bold. <laughs> yeah, pick a motherfucker. I ain't got time for all that. Yeah, man. So yeah, I think this is an egregious oversight. Um, SGA is so smooth. Uh, he's he's gone out there and he's asserted himself and become not only um an MVP type player, but one of the faces of the league. And um. Well, Anthony yeah. Edwards also had a, a stretch where he could have been <clears throat> in this conversation. He kind of faltered down a stretch. Um, yeah. Even Luca uh, as well. But Jokic, uh, congr congratulations to him again. If you're watching this video and you think we're slight, it's a slight tour Jokic. It's not. Um, it's not. We're, we're big fans of Nikola Jokic on his channel. It's just that us, like many other people, feel like SGA going somewhere. Man, you're crazy. Um, SGA. <laughs> Is uh he should have been it. He, honestly, he's my MVP. I'll just say it that way. Um, just like uh don't don't you bounce that ball. Uh just like uh Kobe is some people's MVPs uh from back in the day when they gave it to Steve Nash, or just like LeBron is still some people's MVP the year they gave it to uh Derrick Rose. Rose yeah. This is gonna be the year that I just be unreasonable and say, Hey, you know what? That ain't the year Jokic should have got the MVP, even though his numbers were phenomenal. He's top 10 and all the, the measurables that matter. It's more than just the numbers. What is your impact? How do you impact winning? How do you yep. impact the league as a whole? And, of course, if you take this player off this team, uh, how would that team look? And we know that Oklahoma City, they, they would struggle. They're not here. Yeah, right. They're not here at all. Uh, and, of course, Jokic is a big part of what happens in Denver. That's not saying that if you take Denver, Jokic off Denver. that you know, at least a seventh seed. Right, uh, OKC yeah. would not be a number one seed uh, yeah. with 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 this guy off the team. So that's I don't that's even that's their playoff team, to be honest with you. Yeah, so that's what matters to me the most, man. Is is what type of impact that the player have? And again, Jokic don't even care about this stuff. <laughs> he doesn't. He really so, don't. So there you have it, man. We about to get up out of here. Another episode of NBA Central in the books, man. We're gonna try to get back into doing some live action. My work schedule. Steve, my work schedule is crazy. They called me to come in. To, it's my off day. They already called me today. Like, hey, you trying to come in and get some more out? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Like, dude, I got stuff to do. I can't do it. So, but um, all right, man. We'll see y'all soon. Uh, of course, uh, two big games on tonight. Uh, it's hopefully, it's two games on tonight, right, Steve? -O? Yeah. We got uh, yeah, right. OKC. Wait, I'm <laughs> we got New York, Indy, and Denver, and Minnesota. Ooh, that New York situation is tough with uh OG Ananobi out. Is Brunson playing? Yeah. I don't even know if Brunson playing. If, if, if he is playing, he's he's hurt. Uh somebody yeah. said that Josh Hart is the LeBron James of Patrick Beverly's. I thought that's <laughs> hilarious, bro. 
That's hey, he been hooping in the playoffs, so I give him credit. Bro, he this dude. dude is averaging like 15 rebounds a game. Yeah, and, and he's not, he not even a forward. Dude, that whole Villanova trio situation is bananas, G. Like, they all playing above their station right now. Like, Dante DiVincenzo is hitting clutch threes like, like it's nothing. Like, like it makes me sick we didn't go get him. It, it makes me so sick. Man, it's, it's a lot of people that we're looking at that we would have loved to have. Uh, but the Bulls are in contract hell with um, Zach Levine and uh, and Lonzo Ball, so it is what it is. And I'm, I'm not I'm not trying to be uh, depressed. Let me down. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna get up out of here. But enjoy the playoffs, y'all, man, and um, let us know what y'all think. Should SGA have won MVP, or did the uh, the, the writers and, and the media people get it right? Uh, was Jokic the clear cut choice? Let us know down in the comments below. For big. St- I don't know what just happened, but uh, <laughs> peace out. This has been a presentation of the Breaks, Breaks, Breaks Media. 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 Media.